Here we go, guys. Here we go. MLB main slate. I know it's a small slate, but it's what we got. There's no NBA. Um, there is NHL, thank God. But yeah, here we go. MLB main slate video. I'm Gabriel Skywalker, the chosen one, the perfect specimen, the 60-minute man. If you guys are new, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment down below. Get to 100 likes, 100 comments, and I know we can do it. I know we can do it. Um, I'm going to give away a free one-month DFS club membership, guys. You already know what time it is. If you don't, get out your Rolex watch, and it'll tell you right there. And if you're returning, you forgot to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you do me a solid. Hit that subscribe button on the way out. I just booked two guests for the Skywalker DFS podcast, which is ramping back up. So Jasmine Jasavicius, UFC fighter, coming on next week. She was on Louder with Crowder. If you never heard of that, that podcast, they get over a million views a day. Her name is Martha Bueno. She's been on the show before. That podcast broke all the records. She's going to come back on next Tuesday night. And go one-on-one -on -one with the chosen one, daddy. Woo! She might even say, here comes the boss. I don't know. But, um, so yeah, guys, subscribe. I put out tons of content. Uh, these podcasts are lit. They're funny. They're fun. And uh, also down below is the super thanks option. If you want to throw a boy a couple dollars in the tip jar, you get a special shout out in this video. If you bless the cash app, you get a special shout out in this video and in the uh, props videos, guys. So without further ado, let's start the fucking show. All right, guys. So I'm feeling great. I got top G on behind me. We good, guys. We are good. Um, we got to shout out some uh, super some uh cash app donations i just got a five dollar one just now from ron evans aka kaiser soze thank you so much bro for styling and profiling he says "Woo, the other 60 minute man thank you so much ron i, I appreciate you god bless you aka kaiser keep styling keep profiling and keep dancing all night long and kissing all the girls and making them cry Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Um, <laughs> Jason Barber Richards. Look at this handsome young man. Look at, if you can see his picture, I don't know if you can. You want to talk about style and profiling. This man can dress. I'm to, I might have, the 60 minute man might have to take notes from him, but yeah, he sent me a $10 super thanks. He says for don't jump unless you say woo for good luck. Uh, I had a, um, the video, picks we went four and two but uh my overall picks was not good today guys so i said man where's the nearest bridge i'm gonna jump off so jason thank you so much brother for the ten dollar donation i really appreciate you man um god bless you god bless your family keep that swag up man keep up that swag i love i love the, the outfit bro um and then he also sent a one dollar one for uh one of our members disco d shout out to disco d um I love you guys. Thank you guys so much, man. Um, Anthony D'Angelo, catch your AD. Blesses me again. Just like the sun's going to rise every day, catch your AD blesses me. $2 suit, suit, $2 cash app. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much, catcher. Get that knee healed up because you know I'm going to pick you up in the longest limousine you've ever seen, filled with 24 of the hottest women you've ever seen. We're going to go, woo. All night long. So thank you guys so much. I am really humbled and I am uh really, really, really thankful that you guys are my friends. So thank you. Um let's see how we did tonight. So I'm gonna pull up the Hall of Fame wall. There was an early slate. I didn't play it because I don't get up that early unless I absolutely have to because I work till about three or four in the morning, uh researching and all that good stuff, taking care of the family here. So but the family did, and it looks like LT helped out the family um daniel came in six got a 164 won 100 bucks shout out to him timothy with some prize picks nice dude good job triple og did it again triple og the goat man 400 dollars winner there uh top dog he says early bird gets the worm folks he's right he won a thousand dollars this morning playing dfs took it down took it all down 
That's my man, Top Doggy, right there. Straight out of Milwaukee. Nice job, man. My man, Big Don. Four pick here. Won $450. Woo. Big Don, I know them alligators are having a hard time holding you down, brother. Good job, dude. Uh, Sicko Mamba, a.k.a. Steve Harvey, says, thanks, LT. Got a 154. And then my man, Pablo. Love this guy. Won $157. Says thanks to LT. 1993 says thank you, Skywalker, for the Franco and Tyler pick. You are welcome, man. Franco's just clutch, right? Look at 21 is what he got. His his prop is only seven. Uh, nice job, man. Ox, big ox. Got some prize picks here. Uh, Wicked Ways. Wicked Ways. Sound like a Chris Isaac song or something, but won 800. What is that? I don't got I don't got my contacts in six hundred fourteen dollars. Shit, that's what's up, bro. Total of seven hundred fifty six dollars. Dave sixty four k says I won. He did win. He came in sixth, one fifty bucks. Uh, came in fifth, one fifty there in NBA. Uh, my man Mello came in second, one fifty dollars in MLB tonight. Nice job, Mello. Harsh Marsh. Six pick parlay. Nice hit. Mr. Parrish, total wins today, $1,992.20. That's what Mr. Parrish does, guys. Uh, loan. Lonesome CM, my man right here. Six-pick parlay. Disco D. Woo. The Shea and the Vucevic pick, guys. Turned 50 into 150. Shy, they, they, we should rename him Shy Clutch Alexander, man. He came in at the, he came through at the very end, man. That was awesome. Shy Clutch Alexander is what I think what we'll call him for now. You guys want to come join the club? At this point, I'm not going to sell you on it. Come join if you want. We got 1,100 members and we're growing by the day. DFSclub.com. This is how you sign up. You go to the website. You got my brother DFS space, myself, Skywalker DFS, 1,100 members, guys. We cover every single sport. You know, there's no, M there's no NBA tomorrow. You know I got you with the MLB. You know I got you with the NHL. That's the beauty about the club. <clears throat> Excuse me. Click join now. Make sure you click on my logo, Skywalker DFS, so I get credit because it does matter which logo. I do appreciate it. And then um, look at these plans, guys. 14 bucks a month. We have our bronze, silver, gold plans, three-day passes. You get... All my prize picks, all my DFS lineups, ownership, projections, top stacks, core plays, 24-7 tips and advice. I'm going to go live one hour before lock tomorrow. We're going to do the MLB members only podcast just for the DFS club, guys. Woo. It's going to be beautiful. So all the final decisions are made and we just break down the slate. And uh, yeah, guys, it's worth the price of admission. Come check us out. Stop losing. Stop taking the bus dfsclub.com the one the only i call it the truth and it's my home that's my family in there so shout out to the fam and let's get into it so let's look at the weather and projections all right so let's break this down break it down let's see if i move the screen like this that's better you guys can see it better there so let's go to those are two game early slate let's go to the main slate a little five gamer we got the Phillies at the Reds, mostly cloudy, 75 degrees. It's warm everywhere tomorrow, except for here in California. We're still freezing our asses off. Um, three mile an hour winds blowing in, so really no win. 4.2 for the Phillies, 4.5 for the Reds. We got Bailey Falter against Nicola Dolo. Then we got the Minnesota Twins at the Yankees. It's going to be clear in 81 degrees at Yankee Stadium, guys. My goodness. Y'all are blessed with that weather. Eight mile an hour winds blowing straight out. Four for Minnesota, four four seven for the Yankees, and we got Joe Ryan against Johnny Brito. Next up, we got Detroit at Toronto in the dome, so it really doesn't matter. Three point nine for Detroit, five point eight for Toronto. That's because Spencer Turn Turnbull is on the mound. He's absolute terrible, guys. Absolutely terrible. Chris Bassett, former Oakland Athletic, will be on the mound for Toronto. Then we got Pittsburgh at St. Louis. St. Louis coming off that uh, Coors Field series. Mostly cloudy, 71 degrees. Wind's kind of swirling at 7 miles an hour. We got 3.4 for Pittsburgh. 5.3 for St. Louis. Vince Velasquez will be going up versus Jordan Montgomery. 
And then we got last but not least, Milwaukee at San Diego. Look at this California weather, guys. Mostly cloudy, 55 degrees. Unbelievable. Winds blowing out at seven miles an hour. Total implied for Milwaukee, four, 4.7 for San Diego. Bryce Wilson versus Nick Martinez. Look, we don't have the, the, the cream of the crop. I need a little cream bottle there pitching tomorrow guys so i expect it to be uh a lot of i'd say high scoring i say it's going to be a pretty high scoring slate for hitters guys um let me bring that back up but with that said as far as like stacking goes obviously rano looks good um the yankees look good with that weather let me pull up uh fantasy labs here again um let's see Number one stack, yeah, Toronto. Number two, I'd say probably probably the Yankees, but Joe Ryan's a decent pitcher, but that weather is beautiful, man. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the Reds put up some runs tomorrow. Um, that's, about, <laughs> that's about it, but we only have little pieces of, of, of teams that are, you know, batters that are in good spots, guys. So let's bring up Draft Dashboard. If you want to try this out for yourself, it's $1 for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below. You yourself can have draft dashboard. All right, so let's go position by position. Take a swig here. All right, to kick us off, I like a couple pictures. We got Nick Lodolo, 9.4K. The Phillies have done absolutely terrible against him. 49 batters, only nine have hit him. 184 average against them. It's not very good. They got two lefties, seven righties, a lot of righties in this lineup. So Lodolo should smash. Last time he pitched against him, he got 37 fantasy points. So I like him at 9-4. Don't have a lot to pick from here. I'm going to pass on Joe Ryan against the Yankees. Um, Jordan Montgomery's okay at 8-5. Um, going up against Pittsburgh, it's a good matchup. 21-14 in his last two against him. So, yeah, I like him. He had a great outing opening day. Chris Bassett looks great against Detroit. We're going to pick on Detroit all year. I believe they strike out the most out of any team. He's only 8.2K. This should be probably your top priorities, Chris Bassett, in my personal opinion. 21, 30, and 32, because he's only 8.2K. I mean, they fucked up on his pricing. Let's face it. Um, Yeah, Spencer Tur Turnbull's on the mound, guys. Gotta love Toronto tomorrow. Catchers. It's just what it is, what it is, man. Maybe you can go Kirk if you're going to do a Toronto stack. Um, if you can do a red stack like I like Tyler Stevenson. You know, catchers, you're pretty much on your own, guys, because we don't know who's going to start. Uh, so let's kick it off with Paul Goldschmidt going up. Let's see, 5.9K. Going up versus Velasquez. He's batting 357 lifetime, 5 for 14, four singles and a homer. Normally hits lefties a lot better. But that history is pretty good against Velasquez, so he's in play at 5'9". Vladimir Guerrero stunk up today, man. Was it him or was it Bo? Or was it the whole damn team? Missed on all my props. Toronto props today sucked, man. But 5.7K, he should absolutely do whatever he wants against Spencer, man. He crushes righties. I like him at 5'7". Um, Carlos Tito Santana going up against Montgomery tomorrow. He's a lefty killer. He's two for four against him, one double, one home run. And then Franchi Cadoro, he's been on fire, 2.8K. Don't worry about sixth or seventh. He's a righty crusher, but man, he's been on fire lately. So he's been hitting home runs. I like him at 2.8K if you guys want to get different. Let's go to second base. All right, so we got Nick Manton. I like this price tag at 2.6K. He's been on fire too, man. For some reason, he's got it out against Toronto. A 14, a 20, and a 40 in his last three against Toronto. My goodness. Going up against Bassett, though, he's going to... It's a rough outing, but it's not like Bassett's going to go out there and throw a no-hitter shutout, right? So, I like him. I like this prospect right here. Crushes righties. Nolan Gorman looks decent at 3.8K. He's been on fire, but coming out of course field, that really ain't saying much, but he's cheap. He's only 3.8. Jonathan India... He's priced up to 4-9, but, you know, he's a leadoff hitter for Cincy. Cincy could be like a sneaky stack tomorrow. He's a lefty crusher, 709 OPS versus lefties. He's never hit uh, falter, though. He's 0 for 5, but this year's kind of different, man. He's looking better this year. He's been pretty consistent, too. Um, and then Bryson Scott, great Scott, 
He's 3.4K. One for three against Lodolo with a single. He crushes lefties, guys. OPS, 750. Um, he's been on a little hot streak. So give me Bryson Scott at only 3-4. Let's go to third base. Matt Chapman looks great. 5K. He's priced up, though. He's going up against Spencer. But Chapman's been really on fire lately, man. Look at that. Double-digit fantasy points, guys. And then the last three against... Four out of five games against Detroit. I can't talk tonight. 12, 19, 19, 16. So I like Chap at 5K. They priced him up, though. That I don't like. And then let's go to shortstop because we won't stop. And we can't stop. We got Trey Turner at 6-3. He's been on fire since the World Baseball Classic, guys. And he gets a lefty tomorrow in Lodolo. He's 0-2 for 2 against him lifetime. But we're talking about Trey Turner here. He got stolen base upside. Just threw the roof upside. Everyone's going to go with Bo Bichette at 5'8". Bo has a great matchup. Yes, Bo is on play. Yes, but if you want to be different, you can go Trey Turner or you can go Willie Adonis here at 5'2". Willie Adonis, man, his upside is phenomenal. He crushes righties. He's never faced Martinez, but I like Willie, man. He's won me some money already this year. So maybe a bias pick. You got Tommy Edmond at 4.3K. He's three for six against Velasquez. Two singles and a double. Um, righties, lefties, it doesn't matter. He crushes them both. So, yeah, I, I don't mind Edmund at 4-3. Kevin Newman looks great tomorrow. 3.7K. Like I said, the Cincy stat, guys, I don't know. He crushes lefties. OPS versus lefties, 837. He's 5 for 9 against Faulkner, guys. 5 for 9 against Faulkner. Three singles, two doubles. So, I might throw a Cincy stack in my GPP line. I don't know. That's not a spoiler alert. We'll see. It's not a final decision yet. But let's go to outfielders. We got Aaron Judge and that hitting weather. Absolutely. 6.5K. He's only faced Ryan once in his life. 0 for 1. But man, 80 something degrees and winds blowing out. Yeah. Aaron Judge. I wouldn't be surprised if he hits three tomorrow. Juan Soto looks okay. He's only two for eight against McGill. But those two were home runs. He's a righty crusher. And he's been on fire, too. So I like Juan Soto at 5-6. George Springer for your Toronto stacks. Yes, sir. He's one for two against Spencer with the homer. So I like I like him. He hit his prop today. Um, 5.3K looks pretty good. Andrew McCutcheon looks great at 4-4. He's batting like four. I think it's 434 right now. Like he's on fire. Like he found the fountain of youth, I guess. OPS versus lefty, 737. Like the airplane. Like my private jet that I got sitting right out in the runway right now. 747, though. But check it out. He's 4 for 11 against Montgomery. Two singles, a double, and a homer. Love it. Love riding the hot hand here, guys. Baseball's a very streaky sport. Dalton Varsho, 4.1K. Normally bats fifth. He gets a righty tomorrow. He's never spaced Spencer, but Varsho's got some serious power, dude. Um, who else do we got? We got Kristen Yelich, 4.8K. Looks interesting. He's three for seven against Martinez, three singles. OPS versus righties. He he crushes them. I mean, he's not the Kristen Yelich that we knew that was hitting 40 home runs a year, but I mean he's on play. Now, Tyler O'Neill, three for four against Velasquez, man. One single, two home runs. Like, come on, man. Come on. Tyler O'Neill's getting one tomorrow at 4.5K. And that's going to do it for my watch players. So, yeah, the more I think about it, like Cincinnati looks great tomorrow if you guys want to get different. A lot of good history there. A lot of good matchups. So my three home run calls, since Schroeder's going to take the night off, he's out cold, guys. He's out cold. Uh, My first one's going to be Aaron Judge. He's going to get one. You best believe Aaron Judge is going to get one. Number two, I'm kind of... Stuck between three players. I'm kind of stuck between three. But number two. Okay, I'll go. I'll go Vlad. I think Vlad gets one. Give me Judge. Give me Vlad. And then my third home run call, who I think is going to get us not one, but two. Man, that's a tall task. Two home runs. I'm going to say. You know what? I don't think anyone gets two home runs. I'll give you two more home run calls. How's that? Two more home run calls. I think George Springer gets one. That's three. And then 
I think Kevin Newman gets one. That's four. So Kevin Newman, George Springer, Aaron Judge, and Vladimir Guerrero are my home run calls, guys. And that's going to do it for the show. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Man, I try to keep it under 20 minutes. That's why I was trying to talk so fast. But uh, thank you guys so much for all the support lately. On the road to 10,000 subscribers. We're almost there. Let's get there by the end of the week. I know we can do it, guys. Can't do it without you, though. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below. And I love and appreciate each and every one of you. And when you leave a comment, I always respond. Everybody gets a response. Um, let's get this fucking money. There's money to be won tomorrow because you have a lot of NBA people that just play NBA. They're going to be playing MLB. So you have a lot of fish out there in the water. You know what I'm saying? And we're the sharks. So come join the DFS club, man. DFSclub.com. Click join now. Click my logo. Pick your plan and then go woo just for good luck. Check your email immediately and your invite will be right there waiting for you. Click on the invite and you're in with your family, man. It's just like that. You're in with your family. You'd be like top G back there. You'd be like me. You'd be like Schroeder styling and profiling with 1100 other people in here, guys. This is my family. Shout out to the DFS club. Shout out to you guys. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And let's get to 10,000 subscribers because it's Rolex time. I'm Gabriel Skywalker, your humbled host. Thank you so much, guys. I love you. God bless you. Let's get this spread. Don't take shit from nobody. Absolutely nobody. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Up. But before we go, always remember, always remember to go. Woo! Oh, 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 oh,